Welcome to our lecture online. And now we're going to do something interesting. At least I think it's really interesting. It's finding the equation for the infinite sum. Now we have, of course, something we need to be careful of. Let's say we have a geometric uh, series that has a r factor, a common factor that, that is greater than 1. So here we have the equation for the nth partial sum, where n can be any number, and we see that it's a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n power divided by 1 minus r. So if r is greater than 1, like in the example over here, where r is equal to 2, the next number is twice the previous number, 8 is twice 4, and 16 is twice 8. Then if we try to find the infinite sum for all the terms out to infinity, of course, that becomes infinity itself because the terms become bigger and bigger and bigger. But if the common ratio is oh, not less than 0, but less than 1, then we can do an infinite sum. For example, we have 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth. The next term is only half the previous term. The common factor in this case is equal to 1 half. And then when you sum up all the, all the terms, all the numbers in the series, then you get a fixed number, a finite number. And the equation, of course, becomes this. To do the infinite sum of all the terms, so we have a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the infinity power. But if r is less than 1, if we take 1 to the infinity power, that actually becomes 0. And then we divide it by 1 minus r. So no, notice that 1 minus 0 is simply 1, so 1 times a sub 1 is a sub 1, and in the denominator you have 1 minus r. So it simply becomes the first term divided by 1 minus the common factor. So here we have an example. Let's find the infinite sum, all the terms out to infinity, of this particular series. And you say, wow, if you add up an infinite number of terms, don't you get like infinity? Not in this case. So, but first we need to find the common factor. And the common factor R, or I should say the common ratio, not the common factor, but the common ratio, is equal to a sub n divided by a sub n minus 1. So, for example, a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. The third term, 1, 2, 3, is 1 half. And the second term is 1, so that's equal to 1 half. The common factor, or the common ratio, I keep calling it the common factor, the common ratio is equal to 1 half. So then that means that the infinite sum of this particular series is equal to a sub 1, the first number, which is 2, divided by 1 minus the common, the common, um, the common factor, the common ratio. I keep calling it common factor, the common ratio of 1 half. So this becomes 2 divided by 1 minus a half is 1 half. And so 2 divided by 1 half is equal to 2 times 2 over 1. So that's equal to 4. So the infinite sum of this particular series, when you add all these together, is equal to 4. Now notice, if you take the first term away, then it's equal to 2. If you take the first two terms away, then it's equal to 1. And so you can see that the infinite sum of 1 half plus a quarter plus an eighth is equal to 1. The infinite sum of 1 plus that is equal to 2, and the infinite sum of all the terms is equal to 4, and that is how it's done.